Hey beans, it is the greatest time of the year and that is spring. And now spring isn't that exciting in the real world, unfortunately. There aren't that many holidays. It's just kind of like, yeah, it's getting warmer. And it's my birthday, by the way, March 15th. Keep that in mind. But in Animal Jam, it is an amazing time. There is so much cool stuff that gets added during spring. I don't know why, but this year they seem to be going all out for spring. So I'm sure a couple of you have seen this news message already. Spring has come early. This is part of this new thing that Animal Jam seems to be doing where they're adding new member things like randomly in between updates and like putting them on the front page of the Jamal Journal and treating it like a new update when the rest of the update is still the same. Which is cool because it means that we're getting updates more often than once every two weeks. And the big thing about this that I really enjoy is that it gives Animal Jam an excuse to throw in stuff that's cool for us but we'd be disappointed with if it was like the subject of an entire two week update. If we waited two whole weeks and all we got was like one spring item, I'd be like, hmm, no, that's not a two week update. Thank you, but no thank you. But by adding it not at the two week update and saving these two week updates for us and making sure that we can still get like the normal amount of content plus these little bonuses, I don't care what they add, it's awesome. And this is a cool little thing that fits in perfectly to that idea. Because what they're doing is they're taking items that are very popular among jammers and adding them in as spring versions, which is terrific because there are so many items that everyone wants, but are kind of rare. They're cool, but they're kind of rare. And so no one can really like get them. And so what they're doing is they're using the spring season to release new colors of these items and therefore give us some free stuff to go play around with, which is really awesome because not only does it give non-rare people rare items to mess around with, but it also gives rare people new colors of their rare items to go mess around with and make spring looks, which is cool because I always love seeing those holiday looks. So, continuing, there's also some epic stuff going on in, can I click it? Are you kidding? There we go. There's also some epic stuff going on in the diamond shop den item place. We've got these sick new nature archways. When these first came out, I was like, because in like 2014, 2013, something, sometime around there, when like member gifts were just about to end, like before the Golden Phantoms, it was like no, October of some, some year, there was a year where these came out. I got these right when I came back to playing Animal Jam, and I was so psyched for them, and I had mine for a while, and then I heard that Nature Archways are coming back, but no, they're actually different Nature Archways, and they're sick, especially this one and this one. Now, the, the Coral Canyon ones, I'm not a huge fan of. It's pretty cool, but it's not the greatest, but that that and a little bit to some extent that one those are just so cool so if animal gym really does continue to add den items like these and not just recolor them but kind of restylize them i would be the happiest person alive these are so cool these are actually amazing okay i'm gonna stop fangirling because i need to fangirl over something else the biggest thing that i am happy about in this entire spring update of new items that i've kind of missed out on because i've been suspended is all this new music Oh my god, there's so much music in Animal Jam that is only used in like one little room or one little adventure or one thing that's only available like once a year. And then we like can't use it at any other time. And it, it pains me, it pains me. I want to use this cool music, I really do. I go on an adventure, I'm like BAM! That is so cool. My ears, oh my god, whoa, whoa, this is such a good adventure of music. I'm so hyped, I'm so ready for the spring, I'm so ready for Christmas. I love this music, like, I, I'm getting shivers. Why can't I use this music? Because Animal Jam chooses to release them slowly, even though putting them in the diamond shop is a way to make money. So Animal Jam has kind of remedied that and added some cool new tunes to the diamond shop. And we've got these great new tune boys to listen to. Meet Cosmo's been out for so long and it's just now being added as a music track, but I'm so happy. It's so relaxing. This would be so good for a nature den like the spring den. They're just doing such a good job of theming things. Special little... See? It's just so happy. You just need stuff like that. And then we've got this not racist at all New Year's Fortune one. Yeah, okay, that one that one maybe isn't isn't my favorite. And in other news that I have totally missed because I've been gone for so long, there are some new spooky spooky footprints up here. Bam. Now some people have theorized this is like a mountain lion slash cougar, or if you're a pari, a mountain lion or a cougar, he thought they were like different things but it does seem to be some sort of mountain dwelling animal with like these big claws and the the, the boys you know what i'm talking about and then we've also got some little hints in crp4 oh i almost went down the slide but i didn't we've got some little hints in crp 4s we've got these scratch marks here that aren't old okay when i first saw these i was like mm, that's not new these are these but these are actually woodpecker wood woodpecker mark woodpecker marks these are not woodpecker marks these are scratch marks 
from these boys. So let's theorize. What in the world could this be? The answer is warrior cats. Warrior role player cats. That's what they're adding. Is warrior role player cats who just walk all over the place and scratch things. Seems right. No. Okay. Basically, what we know is it's going to be some sort of new cat. Let's talk about what cats do we have in Animal Gym right now. Well, first of all, we have the mountain cats. We have the lynx. That's it. So obviously, it can't be the lynx. What animal goes in the forest and the mountain? Well, that's gonna just. It's a mountain lion. It's it's a mountain lion. Okay. It's gonna be a mountain lion. I almost guarantee it. I don't want to guarantee it. But it seems very likely that it's a mountain lion. That's all I'm saying. Now, here's why I'm so psyched for a mountain lion. Lynxes were great. Lynxes were little cute boys with their giant bobble head, bobbly heads. And I was like, all right, that's fine. Like, I was really upset with them at the time. But as they grew and became more of a part of the game, people started using them for cute looks. And they were actually played. I came to accept them. Like, when they first came out, one of my most popular videos is me saying, Lynxes are awful. These things are so ugly. They're a waste of Animal Jam's time. And Animal Jam has to animate all these items for them. And they're just going to take up so much development time. No one's going to play them. But then people ended up playing Lynxes. There are some animals that I'm still very salty about, like the polar bear, which just no one plays. Like, I saw a polar bear earlier today, and I was like, what? Oh, polar bears, right, people do that. I'd never seen their dance emotes when they did it. Anyway, getting off topic, I'm psyched for the mountain lions because they will be like lynxes, but cool. The lynxes had so much potential to be cool animals, but they were just kind of like the cutesy, the cutesy babies, the little bobbleheady bobbleheads. And I was like, yeah, I'm good. Like, I really just want a cool animal. Like, if I get a mountain lion or like some sort of like giant cat that goes and scratches trees and stuff, I want like the big cat. That's gonna go and like beat up some boys. It's gonna wear some awesome items. It's gonna have the giant spike on its neck and then like go role play and fight some boys. And I also think mountain lions are genius for Animal Jam. Do you know why? Because they're like cats. They, I mean, they are cats. Shut up. You know what I mean? They are cats. And you know what war warriors, role players like? Zeniths. And also cats. They like cats too. And cats are a great addition to the game because all of a sudden there's an advantage to being a member role player. Because right now, we have non-member role players all over the place. Non-members are great people too, okay? I love non-members. I have nothing against non-members, but Animal Gym kind of does because in the end, they're a company. I'm gonna have to give this rant again. They want money, they need money to survive and keep their game going and thriving and things like that. And role-playing is a huge part of their game. And role-playing right now is done with wolves and things like non-member swords and like leaf necklaces and fun things like that. And you don't need a membership to go and role-play. Animal Jam does not like that. They want to make sure that if you are role-playing, then there is some sort of way that you can have membership to become like an alpha cat or something. And if there were mountain lions, then yeah. The reason that lynxes never became the alpha cats is because, well, lynxes are cute and lame. Like, lynxes, lynxes you, you put on funny looks with them because they have giant heads. Like, you don't actually go put a, a cool look on a lynx. You know what I mean? Like, you can do it. You can probably pull it off, but you're not gonna really be able to do it, and people won't take you seriously if you do, and it'll be a lot harder than with a really cool animal. That's why things like Arctic Wolves took off. They're like dogs, but they're wolves, and they're sick, and they're giant. And if they came out with, like, wolves, but bigger wolves that are actually cats, well, those would take off in role-playing, and all of a sudden, yeah, I might kind of suck for non-members because if you were a wolf, they wouldn't take you seriously. But mountain lions will take over role-playing and all of a sudden we'll have these like legit role players with their cool stuff. So Animal Jam, some words of wisdom. If you are to add a mountain cat, make sure that bow and arrows and swords just look amazing on them and elf bracelets and all those things that role players wear because you are going to make your money off of people using mountain lions to roleplay and do things in Serapia Forest like the mountain lion is doing over here. Now, of course, this all assumes that this is going to be a mountain lion. We can't know this for sure. There's no way to really know, but it does seem to point to this and it does make the most sense from Animal Jim's perspective. So anyways, Beans, to wrap it up, there are going to be two spring items every single day, up to a total of 12 new spring items. And I am especially psyched for this forest bow. And also, again with this role-playing idea, it seems that Animal Jam is trying to make it so that role-playing can be more of a member's thing. I mean, look at these items that are coming out. It's like gloves, masks, bows and arrows. They're popular items, but they're especially popular among role-players. And again, there are so many items right now that are popular among role-players because they're non-member. So Animal Jam is trying to make this next tier of non-member items so that people will buy membership if they want to go role-play. So there you go. So anyways, Beans, Thank you so much for watching. I can't wait to see some of these spring items. As long as there is no spring spiked collar. If there is a spring spiked collar, I'm, I, I quit. Okay, it's like you beat the dead horse and, and then it died again and then you continued to beat it. It's just, there are so many spiked collars in the game right now. Long, short, wrist, like magenta, gold, blackout, the new spikes from the diamond shop, the short spikes from the diamond shop, studded collar. So anyways, Beans, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.
Bye.